Welcome back. It's been maybe a day or two since we were last on the site. And yeah, turns out you can still play 10 minute games here. So without further ado, let's get a doing. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to play some decent openings and have some fun games. We'll see how it goes. Oh, sorry, I need to mute this. Yeah, this will be a good entertainment if we can have it. Good luck. Okay, I seal this diagonal. And then try to block this rook pawn from it further advancing. Um, okay. And now we decide uh, where to put the rook. I kind of like this idea of playing opposing rook here. Just for the sake of doing something different. Um, So now I can play this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy moly. All right. We are off to the races, folks. Um, not sure if they my opponent did this on purpose, but this position's going to get quite exciting here in just a minute. Um, So we're threatening this check to collect a rook. It's kind of difficult. Yeah, they have to block like this or something like this. Um, and I think what we've learned from a recent game is that um, let's find a drop back here. Let's get our king tucked into this castle before something bad happens. Um, so I can use my gold and my rook to fend off this pawn here. Um, Do I move the knight up in this case? I mean, it's weird, but everything is weird in this position. They've blocked their pawns. So I'm going to block my bishop. Anticipating that I'll develop it elsewhere in just a minute. Um... Just try to bring the king to a safer haven. And yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, hmm. What a mess. Okay, we'll form this clip shape here. And ask what my opponent's next move or what their plan is. They're not telling. Fine. Um, let's expose my bishop here.
Okay, let's not get my king stuck on an edge. Um, I don't know that I need to react to this pawn move. Nanafun. They don't have a pawn. I guess this is my moment to try to seize the day, huh? I mean, yeah, I could have dropped the rook back, but this looks viable. Um... I have two pawns. Worst case, if they attack my knight, I can drop a pawn and drop another pawn. If they attack my rook directly, I can attack their bishop. So we can take that. And if their object is to promote the rook, we can just fight back against this. Because their king and rook would be aligned there. Um, so now we have two bishops. They have a gold general, which could be quite annoying. And they have a knight, which maybe could somehow be annoying, although I'm not seeing it. Okay, they secure their king. Um, let's just activate the rook here and say, so, you know, they get a dragon and that's fine. It's what they wanted, and we can't stop it. What we can do is make the best of our circumstances here, and try to give ourselves a dragon too. So we just keep asking where are they going to place their pieces. And we'll be able to make some ingress here pretty quickly. Um, Go Fun. Oh, I see. That's clever. Hmm. Fine, we'll advance the painful way here. I would drop a bishop, except that would trap my bishop. So, instead we're stuck playing a move like this. Um... Okay, we can fight back against a knight, so let's fight back. Um, 
Okay, point taken. Interesting. It's not easy to fight back against this assault on my rook. Yeah, that dragon is super well placed. It's kind of amazing just how well placed it is. So they've placed their silver now. So I'll place my bishop now that their silver has been placed. And this gives my rook somewhere to go. Also, my rook could just go up here, can't it? And if they take it, I take their gold, and I say I don't worry too much. Some worry is appropriate, but too much worry is not. Oh. Well, this makes it a great deal easier for me to get a dragon. Because now I can just place a rook. And that's a dragon. Surely they attack my bishop next. No, they don't bother. Um, hmm. I'm not sure where to place this bishop. It's really not obvious. I think this is the correct place to put it. To try to stave off their attack as long as possible. Maybe I needed to place a rook here or something, but I don't think so. And yeah, if I get a silver, that allows me to fork their pieces, so it's not a loss. So we attack from a distance. This allows us to place more pieces to support our attack. Maybe at some critical moment I should take this uh, silver here. Oh wait, I could drop a knight to hit this gold general. I should have done that. <sighs> that would have been smart. But no, I played the aggressive move. Hmm. Oh, I could drop a gold back here to 
I don't know what. But I need the gold to attack. But if I get another gold, that extra gold could go back here. But now some other blocker like a knight would be just as effective. Yeah. Um... Hmm. So we separate their rook from the attack. This gives me some more time to breathe. And to initiate an attack of my own. take this gold that's in my way. Just keep attacking here. A silver would support my attack well. Um, I thought I had an idea here. My idea is horribly flawed. Um, no, I need to go back to the way things were here just a second ago. Oh, they have two bishops. I am screwed. Yeah, I missed that. Um, so yeah, that perpetual trade I had going earlier would have been better than this situation. This situation I'm just straight up made. Well, they don't have a gold, but... Oh boy. Uh, now they have a gold general. So I have no choice but to do this. Still no choice. And just pray. Now this doesn't work either. Not even close. Thanks for the game. Well, that's me losing playing Opposing Rook once more. Maybe I should stop playing that, at least on this site, until I studied a bit more. Good luck. Hmm. I wonder, this hasn't happened to me yet, but I do wonder if I will demote, if I just continue losing and losing and losing and losing. 
so um anything's possible right it'd be logical that if i'm playing moves that just illustrate that i have much to learn um that i shouldn't retain my current rank until i start playing better moves again um Not sure why I did that. I have some ideas why I'm playing this way, but like this is not a shape. Um Interesting. Guess we'll play this up. This is risky. Ah, I see. This is what they're intending. Well, these pawns are in tension. I can't just let the tension sit there. Um, interesting. So if the silver runs, then maybe chasing the lance isn't so terrible. Um, also, I can bring my bishop back to fight here, too. Which ties down their bishop. Okay, you do recognize that's a lance, right? It doesn't have to move one step at a time, and I don't have to take it. Oh, it's moving out of threat. In a way that makes sense. Um, hmm. I think I'm okay here. I've taken two pieces for one, and I can drop a silver to protect both squares that the knight is attacking. And I don't see any one move attack that they can do here that in a single turn could obliterate my castle. So I think I survived their attack. Um, maybe there's some chain of things they can do in sequence to somehow break up my position. But yeah, in a single turn, I'm fine. Let's defend against the snipe. Oh, well, they have this night fork. That night fork would have been painful. Um... Nanafun. Okay, if the bishop takes, I can pin this bishop. If the bishop does not take, then I've got a vanguard pawn. At least for an instant. 
Um, So, yeah, I think I'm just taking their pieces here. Granted, I, I'm on at least a four-game losing streak. Maybe five-game losing streak, if I remember correctly. So, uh, Shogi Wars paired me with somebody who might also be having a difficult day. Yeah, I think this is working well for me. Hmm. Let's remove the support for this knight, shall we? That's a tactic. We might as well use it. I almost dropped my gold general right there. That would have been unfortunate. Um, sure, well, let's remove this here. And that way we'll have a piece that we can hit this lance with. Oh, actually, this is interesting. So... Yeah, they have a choice of which piece to Gohun. take with. If they take this way, their king's a bit exposed. Oh no, my horse. Now the point is if they take that, I can take back here, and I too can get um, a rook. I mean, there is a price to this, but my castle is solid, and theirs is not, so that's why I'm having... I don't know. That's why I'm very optimistic about my chances here. They have to decide, are they going to make an attempt to protect this rook? Either this or next turn. Because, um, yeah, marching forward with the king would be terrifically dangerous. Maybe it's correct, but I don't think so. Yeah, so... That's the way I would prefer to play this position, is running the king. Um, again, just because that's my preference doesn't necessarily mean it's right. 
but uh, yeah, here I'm able to collect a rook. I guess that does cost me far more than it should. Um, okay, so we attack a gold and a knight. Yeah, so basically I just sacrificed a pile of pieces to speed up my attack here. Um, and I'm not sure that it was worth it, but it felt fun to do in that moment. If I'd been slightly more patient, maybe I could have backed off and kept repeatedly backing off and collecting more pieces. Um, but in the moment, this seemed just fine. Um, I think this mates, right? You have two knights and a dragon. So usually you need four pieces to checkmate, but here... Uh, thanks for the game. Here, two knights and a dragon are a pretty formidable force. Alright. Let's see. Good luck. Mm, let's play third foul rook again. And immediately attack the slants. Okay. We are off to the races. Um... You have a king over here, sir. Is this part of your math? How is this going to play out? I've never seen anybody play it this way. I am very confused. think this is the right way to proceed. This center point seems quite vulnerable. It would have been nice to hit this pawn, but... Um... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I guess I'll take a gold general.
guess you've talked me into it. If the king moves to the center, I can take here at the knight. I can still take here at the knight. Um, but where's the hurry? Let's take here first. And to check or not to check, that is the question. I think this check is fine. Nanafun. Admittedly, this is the line I had in mind when I checked. But this should not have happened. Um, so now the king is forced to retreat there. Um, and now I'm threatening mate next move. I think the only way to escape mate is to move the rook. And I'm not even sure that that escapes the checkmate. Um, So I just bring my bishop one step closer here. And then draw the king back into this. And if the king takes my knight, then I can take the rook. And their king is surrounded. I have now a silver, a gold, and a rook attacking. Thanks for the game. Alright, well, those were three eventful games. I don't think we could have predicted this any more than we could have predicted what happened last session. Um, yeah, the rating distribution on this site um, makes it a bit challenging to predict how games will go. If you look at other sites and players' ranks and ratings, sometimes you can guess the outcome. But here, well, part of it's just my playing style being very provocative, but part of it's just the ranks and ratings being so condensed close together that um, yeah, it's just hard to tell. It, I guess player ranks don't quickly ascend or don't quickly descend. So it's hard to tell solely based on ranks how things are going to go. Anyway, um, we did some things correct these games. Uh, so, we, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess the best thing I'm doing is when I'm not experimenting with openings, then I have my best performance. But I need to experiment, otherwise I'm not going to learn things. So... Ah, yeah, and this opponent actually was 90% of the way up to ranking up to 1Q. This is a strong opponent we vanquished here. Uh, good point, Transport. So, yeah. He's surely on his way to making it, and uh, best of luck to him. And, yeah, best of luck to me trying to get somewhere up to at least 50% on this. Because we've been at 1Q forever. And maybe if I start playing consistent openings, I'll rank up. But then I'll never learn anything, so yeah, where's the hurry? Anyway, I hope we enjoyed that. 
Uh, thanks for watching.